We've been hunting for over a moon now. How can we still have so little to show for it? Well, this episode's off to a great start. Whenever Daisy and I were having trouble finding herbs, we would split up and spread out to look. It usually went a lot faster that way. I don't know much about hunting, but maybe finding prey is the same way? Splitting up? Hmm. I guess it would help us to cover more ground. Wow, Wolf's an idiot for not thinking about doing that at the very beginning. Hawk, you'll go with Blossom, and Lion can go with Willow. Those specific groups were made to start as much drama as possible. Where's all the prey gone? Where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? I feel like such a jerk. How could I have done that to her, Blossom? I should have been better to her. All she wanted was my attention. Lily would have never left me if I had just been there for her when she needed me. Dude, she and the whole clan is going to starve to death in winter if you don't find prey. Is now the time for this? Did you hear that? Uh-huh. What? Is it too late for Hawk to just be fired? Shh, it sounded like a rabbit. Really? Let's catch it! Huck's response to Blossom shushing him so that none of the prey would be scared away is to be as loud as possible. Well, Lily and I are over now. Maybe it's time for me to move on and start over. Less than five minutes ago, you were saying that you were sorry for how you treated Lily, and now you've moved on to someone else. I think I found the perfect theme song for you. you change your mind. Females on this mission just in heat or something? <sighs> I can still remember those days. Being so excited to finally be apprenticed and to always be learning such fun new things. There's a time and a place for everything. A foreign concept to these cats. Every minute was so thrilling and new, but now everything just feels so routine. You were picked to go on an annual hunting party that lasts like four months. How much more excitement do you need? I know, and I have plum. I thought you were fine with polygamy. But honestly, Willow, who's gonna know? Sage and Plum are all the way back in Feral Clan. They'll never find out. Who knew someone related to Sand could be such a horrible kitty cat? This could just be our little secret. Yeah, yeah. Ah, jump scare by theme song. That's a first. I'm so excited. Why, Flame? I get to spout off some exposition. <laughs> Just like Maddie did before me. I can patrol the unknown territory, protect Fairy Clan from dangerous animals. Like foxes? Wait. I'd be the leader, and you'd be my head guard. We'd be so awesome. Just like Fang and Wolf. You do not want to be like Fang and Wolf. Trust me. Hey, Spirit, how about you? What do you want to be? Huh? When someone asks what college you're gonna go to. What do you want to do? Well, um, I, I don't know. I really haven't given it much thought. You don't know? But Spirit, Storm is giving us our assignments today. You've got to have some idea of what you want to be apprenticed as. I don't want to grow up and do adult things. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Stop asking me questions! Yeah, Dad? Huh. Where's your brother? Huh? My brother? I don't have a brother. You know, the one with the orange pills and green eyes. Oh, you mean Flame? Hasn't Scar been calling Flame his son since he came to the clan? So you'd think Wild should be used to Scar referring to Flame as his brother by now. And Scar doesn't even know his adopted son's name. You're the best. You know, Flame's actually a fox, he's not my brother. Your father has adopted him, even though he can't be bothered to remember his name, and your mother is feeding and taking care of him. He's your adopted brother. Quit being a racist, you racist. Do you want to come and do some manly cool- How does he know the word manly? Why would Scar refer to anything as manly? Come on, kiddo, we've got no time to waste. Oh, Spirit! Are you finally done staring at the corner for no reason? 
I remember when Rose and I were getting ready for our assignments. Assignments? Don't you mean assessments? Oh, don't worry too much, Spirit. Fang and Storm will know what's best for you. Since when were you nice to children, Rose? Oh, you're just buttering up to the leader's granddaughter. I see you. How can Fang and Storm know who I'm supposed to be if I don't even know myself? Because they're older and wiser. And there's only three positions in the clan that you get to be, guard, healer, or hunter. Males usually are guards, Daisy doesn't need any more apprentices, so my money is on Hunter. Also, whatever your job is gonna be, that's not who you are. Uh, um, hi, go on. Um, it's not who you are, it's just what you do. Your occupation is not your personality, so I wouldn't call it as being who you are. What? Oh, Spirit, please tell me you've seen Luck! That is a really deep question. Well, firstly, we should define Luck, and does it differ when- Oh, you meant the cat! Oh, <laughs> never mind. New kids? No, the old ones. Is there anything I can do to help Daisy? Well, I... I suppose I could use the help. You know, I never saw Gold asking some random untrained kitten for help. I'm just saying. Okay! Awesome! I'm coming! You get to see the miracle of birth, young kitten. And in all of its gory detail, too. I've already passed my final assessment. I can hardly believe that I'm going to be a full hunter in just a few days. Kinda clan is Fang Ron in here. Daisy never trusts me to do anything. I wonder why. She's always comparing me to Sun, saying stuff like, Sun was always so helpful. Why can't you be more like her? Or, I can't wait till Sun returns from the hunting party. Maybe then we'll get some actual work done. Now you know what it's like to have older siblings. Why can't she realize I'm doing the best I can? Instead of taking herbs to Daisy and being available when she needs you, you're too busy talking on the job. If this is you doing your best, then that's a shame. Sun was always so mean, treating everyone like she's better than them. Uh, she is better than them, so... You seem to have a gift with healing. Probably ruin our gift with your lack of mentoring skills. Echo had her kids this morning! You should have been here helping me! Echo had her kids? It's great! Missing the point. I had to spirit help me because I couldn't find you. What's worse is that she did a better job than both of us combined. You're comparing me to spirit now. She's just a kid. So are you. I was off doing what you told me to do. She told you to talk with Spring? I'm a terrible healer. Well, your confidence went away quickly. I didn't choose you. No, the correct response was... You're not a terrible healer, you're just lazy. Let's work on that. I didn't choose you. You were given to me. So, Daisy's pro-life? Sweet. It's a miracle. This kid is very lucky to be alive. My sweet little sister. We should name her Luck. We must call this one Lucky. You never wanted me. I can't believe this. All this time, I, I thought I was here because I had a shred of potential. That you saw something in me. I guess I was wrong. You never wanted me as an apprentice. I'm just some annoying kid you have to look after all these years. It's not like that, Luck. I just told you that story of how I was forced to take you as an apprentice after we had a fight because... I... was... bored? Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a
solid girl like me. How do I make him 